Greetings and salutations, everybody. If my hair looks ridiculous, it's because I was wearing a bike helmet. Coming to you from a picnic pavilion in a nearby park to tell you about a number. Today, 628 in the American Convention is Tau Day, representing that great trigonometric constant, 6.28, I forget the rest but it'll be in the description. A longer version will always be in the description. Unless, of course, I forget and then don't put it in the description. I'm babbling. Now, there's a lot of conflict between all people of all walks of life, particularly mathematicians and engineers and physicists, about which constant is more correct. Tau, or it's slightly more well-known half pi. Now, the argument for tau is that it can be used in a lot of places where otherwise we would just use 2 pi. The most common one, the number of radians that make up a circle. Pi only gets you halfway around, while 2 pi gets you the whole way around. Now, where do I stand on this? I'm not really sure. The way I see it, Tau might be better to, for simplifying things where 2 pi would normally be used, but would we, would we really be willing to make the change to tau if indeed it were be proven better? I have no idea. But just because tau is very useful doesn't necessarily mean that pi is wrong. They're just numbers. And unlike a lot of ideas, beliefs, theories, really almost anything that people come up with. Numbers can't really be right or wrong. I know this might, to those of you who know me, this might seem a bit odd because I like to concretify things into being black and white. You always get two sides of a story, two opposites. Or sometimes you get more things, but nevertheless there are different sides that usually can be broken down into two. But numbers themselves, can they be right or wrong? For that matter, what do numbers do? How do we define what a number is? Do numbers exist? Do they, do they matter? Could we just as well have called our unit a, a blurf? And if you take another blurf and add it on to that first blurf, you get a smurf? I don't know. That's just me being sarcastic a little bit. But nevertheless, I think it's an interesting point. Tell me in the comments what you think of it. And as a part of this special Tau Day episode, put in the comments your favorite number. I'll probably make a video about it, especially if it's a extremely interesting number. Even if it isn't, I'll probably still talk about it because it's not like I have a lot of viewers. But to those of you who do, at least you're loyal. And I thank you for that. I always thank the kindness of strangers and friends and everybody. Nevertheless, I feel like I've been rambling on a bit and I feel like the wind might be messing up my sound quality. So I would like to say happy Tau Day to everybody. Um, especially all of you mathematicians over there. Um, Victoria Hart, um, Brady and Matt and James and Simon and all of you guys over there at number file, uh, Jamie minute on minute, minute, minute physics, anybody who loves mathematics and science and their applications between them, I thank you for all of your diligence and all the knowledge that you've given to common people like me. Although I don't think that anybody is truly common. special. So have a really nice day, no matter whether you call it 2 pi day or tau day. Just have a really nice one. So long and thanks for all the fish.